Hello and welcome to learningengineer.com. My name is Michael Langdon. And today we're going to be using Earth and View to make some color corrections. Um, but there are a few things of, with Earth and View that I need to take you to, to go over with you. Um, the first I want to just show you that I loaded this picture and it looks kind of dark and I want it to be that way because I need to do some corrections on it. So this image is 3200 uh, pixels by 2400. Um, it's at 24 bits per pixel so it's true color. It's a one-to-one -one ratio and it's at 100 percent. And so you can see that you can only see a small portion of my hand here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to view here because I want to see the whole thing. And what I can do is just come to display options and I can fit images to window. And you'll see what that does there. Now I can see my whole hand but I'm only zoomed out to 37 percent. Now uh, because I'm doing a screen capture here and uh, my memory is limited I'm going to resize and resample this right away um, to that. So I click OK and now you can see I'm actually 148 percent so I'm going to bring this down um, to 100 percent. There we go, there's 100 percent. Oops. So there's 100%, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to correct the, because this is very dark, so I want to lighten it up. And so you just come up to the image menu, and you can actually come up to um, what's called color corrections. And if I click on that, what you'll see is that I get a, uh, a dialog box here that has a bunch of options. Now, most of the time when I work with people on this, everybody thinks that it's a good idea to adjust brightness and contrast, when in reality, the, gram the gamma correction here is the easiest one to use. And you'll see why. As I move it, you'll see that it's not just, like with brightness, if you do brightness, it just makes it brighter. It doesn't really adjust the colors properly. It makes everything brighter. So I'm going to reset that back to zero. And the same thing with contrast. Contrast, you know, it makes the brights brighter and the darks darker, um, the higher you go, and so on. But gamma correction is one of those tools where it really does an excellent job of, of lightening the lights, darkening some of the darks, and making things as they should be. And you can see here that over on this side we have the original image, over on this side we have a new image, and now if I click OK, it adjusts it. Now you also notice here that there's a little too much red. So actually I could come back in here and go color corrections and I could alter this red balance so that there's a little less red in it. Okay, And that's basically what that does. Um, there we go, that looks good. And now I'm going to click OK. And basically what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the colors. So like you see here, this is very red. And this is, I've basically eliminated a lot of the red here by moving into the negative. If you move to the left, you move into the leg negative, that'll eliminate that color. If you move it to the right, that will add color to it. So the positive adds color, the negative takes that color away. And so now I'm just going to click OK. And you can see that now looks much better, much more like uh, the real, a real picture and so on. So, um, and that's pretty much it for color correction. Um, if you want to lighten something that's dark, remove a certain type of color. For example, if you take uh, pictures outside, sometimes they can end up with a blue tint because the sun is primarily blue. And, and that's why they use like blue filters on cameras and stuff to eliminate the blue filtering of the sunlight. Um, but you can also adjust that after the fact in uh, Earthen View. And that's basically all there is to color correction and brightening something in Earth and View. Uh, thanks for coming, and I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos. Bye.